Yeah, so one thing I want to appreciate is look at the bend on this blade, look at the temper. That's why it looks spring steel. That will give when you whack it into hardwood. That will give when you smack it with a baton. Okay, so that's going to be a sharp edge, but with a spring temper. see whether my very crude heat treatment and my very binary tempering uh, cycle has got an edge that won't chip and fall apart or that the blade hasn't turned into a piece of plasticine. Um, obviously um, there's, there's loads of guys that send their stuff away for heat treat or they'll have um, uh, another that they've got a digital readout and everything's perfect or they'll have uh, heat sensors and give themselves a good idea of where the steel is in terms of temperature, um, I've got a magnet. Okay, so before I go too far down the road, um, I clean it up, reasonable, put an edge on it, and then give it some welling. So where I am with a very coarse stone, just beginning to put an edge on the badass. So I'll try and get that so you can see. So four strokes one way. So like that, and go back the other way. And then one, and one. Sort of an edge on it. The belly and the tip. of a grit on it. That one. Just take the rough edge out of it a bit. That's actually getting an edge there. Yeah. 
freehand grinding is pretty close. edge to there, nothing in the middle, and then edge to there, so I can do some banging there and some banging there. So I hope we go outside and um, give us some money. Oh. Oh, Obviously I've, got, I've only got an edge about there and about there. The rest is just almost come together. No, there's no edge on it. What I want to do is like, blast it across grain as long as I'm not chipping out. The hardness is pretty good. No chips. I've got no handle on it though. 